Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Jazzwares Fortnite Legendary Series Brawlers kit. And I gotta give a huge shout out to my boy Art G for finding this figure. He seems to find everything on his hunts in his area. It's just so full of figures. So definitely uh, show him some love. Check out his YouTube channel down below. If you're into hunts and everything, uh, he always has some amazing videos of him hunting and finding figures. So check it out down below. Uh, I'm happy to have this figure because with my little... Uh, group of Fortnite ruffians, you know, with the, the Brat and Doggo and uh, Meowsles. I had to have Kit because this is going to be my little tech hacker guy of the crew. And the packaging looks great. Shows everything you're going to get. It actually shows that this one can transform. That you see that right up here. And then, you know, has that cute little Kit posing right at the bottom. On the back of the package, it says Fortnite, says Kit. He doesn't really have a saying or anything. It just says proudly following in his father's paw prints. I guess that's supposed to be cute and funny, so whatever. Um, it shows both weapons that he comes with, the double barrel shotgun with a collapsing feature. The grappler shows Kit and the bot sort of flex in there, looking all adorable. And then all the figures from the wave and the other two uh, brawlers from the set, which is the scientist and Meowsles. Kit comes with a plethora of weapons, and he comes with a pair of, like, pinwheel blades. Um, painted pretty cool, sculpted pretty nicely, and uh, the only thing that I feel like is missing when it comes to these is they don't spin at all. They're just rubbery plastic, and uh, I really wish they would have spun. We get a double barrel golden gunmetal shotgun Looks pretty awesome, and uh, it does have holes in the front if you have any effect pieces you want to pop in there. One thing that does suck about it, though, is we get, like, product numbers on the bottom, and they're, like, they stick out like a sore thumb. But we do get an action feature where it breaks down, so you can load it, put it back up, do your shots. Another weapon we get is this plunger gun, and it's translucent. You can see in the maiden body, so you can see its action feature, and... It looks really cool. It's sculpted really nice. You got this very like thick like string. It's not like a very loose string. And then you got the plunger, which the plunger is plastic. Just like the pinwheel, I feel like this weapon just it, it missed the mark. So you can pull the little trigger at the bottom. And <laughs> it didn't even shoot that out. Let me angle it forward. There we go. So the spring shoots it out. And you can see, like, the string, it's not the best string for it. It could be longer. That would be nice. Uh, this part in the front, I wish could, like, roll it up. You know, it's designed to look like it's doing that. But, you know, we could have added a little pin there and rolled up some string. And this being plastic, it's sort of garbage. Like, why wouldn't you just use a real, like, suction cup? That would have been so much better. Here we have adorable little kit in hand has a very similar like uh, markings and paint setup as Meowsles, so I'm assuming they might be related or from the same uh, litter. And it's a pretty cute and adorable little cat. I got some paint in the orange that looks like he's a little bit messed up, but uh, still a nice little sculpt. There's not much articulation in this. It's just a little standalone figure that pops on top. And uh, the paws do have articulation. They can move up and down on each side. But still an adorable little kitten. Let's go ahead and take a close look at Kit's main body, his mech suit. And this thing is pretty awesome. Tons of different colors, paintwork, sculpt work. Got a little paw print on the shoulder. I love how they made like some of the metal look rusty. It's it's pretty freaking wicked. Back we got a little license plate with fish bones. Uh, looks like you can plug something in the back like a backpack. 
Got a little like plug there. Thrusters are red. But tons of awesome, awesome articulation and paintwork. I think they, they nailed this thing. This thing's awesome. Sure, you could say, hey, there'd be cool if it was like translucent plastic here. And stuff like that. But you don't really need it. Now, these shoulder pads are removable too. They sort of pop off like so. So you can customize them if you don't want the shoulder pads on. Articulation wise, uh, and he does have a little brown seat right there. And there's the little peg holes. Let me just show this before I get into articulation. He has little peg holes in his feet. Just fit them on there. And there you go. Pretty straightforward. So let's take them off. Uh, articulation, he technically has like a butterfly joint going on right there. Crazy, crazy good articulation there. Uh, his arm has double elbow at both those points. So you can get it up, you can get it up. Like it could probably keep going. Um, no forearm, almost looks like forearm swivel, but it doesn't. Wrist rotation, wrist bend, and we have finger movement as well. Get up like that. Like, only thing you can't do is, like, rotate it like a normal arm. But it gets all the other articulation. No ab crunch, but we do get ab swivel. Like, this waist swivel is okay to me due to the fact that it it already has hips like that. Nothing looks bookshelfy. Legs can go, eh, can go out that far. Nothing crazy. Can kick up. Quite a bit doing field goals and it's got pivot at the knee get a joint up here get a joint down here we get pivot right here ankle bend and we get toe bend and there's a little hair on there for some reason that's weird it's like in the plastic gross could be the plastic i hope yeah it looks like it could be the plastic but still all that crazy articulation <laughs> in this and what's cool is like i have it more to me like i feel like his legs should be like this but if you want to get some really crazy height out of him you can just straighten his legs out completely you know he's gonna have little baby feet but you can have them straight legged if a bunch of weapons and a mech suit wasn't enough the mech suit transforms as you can see you can get him into this little like one wheeled driving around type of thing it's definitely unique and weird um you plug the hole that was in the back of this into the seat but what sort of it sucks because the packaging it pushes the seat was pushed forward so it keeps wanting to push kit out of the you know out of the seat but i mean still pretty cool but you know if this is too much clutter let's take this out put kit back on and you could just have like a very lightweight, cleaner wheel vehicle thing. But then you got this plug on the back. And I wonder what you could do with it. I'm just looking at his accessories. Maybe he can put the shotgun. Nope. That would have been pretty cool if you could have fit the shotgun in there. Might be able to dremel it out or something like that. But still, this figure is awesome it's awesome some of these fortnite figures that are coming out are ridiculously cool uh definitely can tell the wheels hollow i do wish this wheel actually spun again like i wish there's a lot of items that came with kit that i wish spun thanks to kit's awesome articulation get him into a nice running pose i just have him running blasting off some rounds from that double barrel and it looks great this figure is phenomenal. Um, if you're into weird, mech uh Fortnite-y type of figures, definitely get it. Uh, it. It's weird, and that's really draws me to it even more. But the articulation on this guy is phenomenal with like the foot and everything. If you've been collecting as long as I have, you definitely have tons of weaponry laying around. So you can definitely equip kit with some awesome weapons i just have him equipped with two baseball bats just basically standing there saying come on i will mess you up and it's like it's crazy you just see this cute adorable little kitten and then he's just like i'm gonna just destroy you 
for some size comparison, you can see that Kit towers over Legendary Riders Punisher, Articulated Icons White Ninja, and Black Series Beskar Mando. So if we move the Articulated Icons, you can really see the size comparison. I mean, Punisher is probably the biggest, like heftiest figure out of the other ones. And him standing straight up, he's barely, barely making it to uh, Kit's paws. So that's really cool. And that's without me stretching out Kit's legs. It still has that uh, back piece like that. So Kit can get pretty tall, you know, and you just be like, get out of here. Kit holding the minigun that I think came with the Brad or Doggo, either way. That even looks more badass. Like, I think I have two of those. So if I can get them to dual wield some miniguns, that would be pretty freaking awesome. I'm having too much fun with this figure. I have him posed up as if, like, a bunch of bullets or explosions are happening around him. So he's trying to protect himself with the mech suit itself. And there's a little, like, clip or, like, slot on the minigun. And I just clipped it to the chair there. And, uh, or... Yeah, the chair. I guess that's a chair or whatever. But uh, yeah, it sort of mounts up pretty badass on the shoulder. So if I can find the other one I have and dual freaking minigun it, yeah, this kit's even going to be more badass. I have a kitten. I have a lanky robot with some articulation. Of course, I'm going to try to do the Lion King pose and it does it very well. This figure is fun as hell, and figures need to be fun. And the fact that it's a weird figure is a bonus. Having fun weird figures is awesome and i gotta give a huge shout out to my boy rg definitely for finding this figure and adding the tech guy to my little Fortnite crew it's awesome so definitely show him some love check out his youtube channel if you're into hunts he finds some crazy amazing deals on figures so definitely check it out link is down below tell him unboxing art sent you and that sums up my unboxing and review of jazzwares Fortnite legendary series brawlers kit if you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. New to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. As silly as it seems like hitting a little red button, but it means the world to me when you do it. So definitely do it and show some love. And also, I want you guys to check out Toyco, Toys and Collectibles. The website is down below. It's full of collectibles for you guys to check out. If you see something you like, make sure you use that promo code down there so you guys get free shipping on anything you see on the website. And there's a Facebook pre-order group that you can join up that's strictly Toyco. It keeps you in the know with collectibles. A lot of imports that you may see after the fact that are expensive as heck. Join up. Check them out. You'll get the alerts. You'll see what's coming out and allow you to get dibs on some of these imports for amazing pricing. So check it out. Show some love there too. Just love all around. And I want you guys to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.